Right now, Sean, with two of his brothers and the oldest grandson, he's eight, oldest nephew, oldest cousin, whatever, he's eight, are upstairs in the loft playing Mario Kart. <laughs> my heart is so happy and I'm pretty sure my baby just woke up, so let's do it. We finished with a big family breakfast. By the way, happy Saturday. We finished with a big family breakfast this morning. Now we're kind of all just chilling. I mean, the boys are playing Mario Kart. The little kiddos have been outside playing in the pool. Thing. Yard work is happening. Caden is awake. And we're going to get ready to go to the baptism in a minute. And it's going to be fun. Okay, so we just finished with the baptism. And let me just say, the little girl was beautiful. Oh my god! Um, okay, so we get there though, and this church building, the baptism was supposed to be this morning, but then there was a funeral scheduled. Don't know if it was scheduled first, if funerals just take precedence, I don't know. Whatever happened, the baptism had to be pushed back till later in the after, or early afternoon, whatever, instead of the morning. Fine. We get here, there's a bajillion people here for this um, funeral, and it is freaking bloody hot inside. Like, why is there 72. Nothing? That's the same as our house. T, but then you're adding like 200 bodies. <laughs> it's different. Body heat. Expelling. 120, I guess it's about the same. No, but like everybody out in there. Oh, from the funeral? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That yeah, gym was funeral. full. <laughs> yeah. So, in like the, where we were doing the baptism room, yeah. there's only like, I don't know, 20, 25 people maybe. Yeah. But I just That's watched I that thermometer go up and up and up and up. It was 72, then 73, then all of a sudden it was 75. And I was like, sweat dripping down my back. I can feel it. It's disgusting. Um, and Kaden only made it halfway because he was crawling in the back for a minute because there's a little break in the middle. And then he face planted it on the carpet and screamed. So I took him out. And we just played in the hallway and crawled and looked at the hundred people that were there for the funeral. So anyway, moral of the story is it was way too freaking hot in there. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Yay for baptism! Okay, if anybody has these little baby hairs, this is not like a postpartum anything. This is like literally how my hair is. I can either, I have two options, I can either get it wet slick it up and hairspray it which is what i tried to do today and it failed i can let it be crazy which is annoying because then i look crazy i look like i have hair coming out of my ears or option i guess i have three options um sometimes i'll like spray it and get it wet and just try to like make it into a little ringlet that works sometimes if my hair wants to co cooperate and i guess the fourth option is i can like literally get out my straightener and straighten them but every time that i've done that they like always straighten at an angle like i can't get it flat you know anyway that was the most random thing to start this section of today's vlog where i was about to say we are currently at sean's brother's house just chilling we had by the time that we got here we have about an hour hour and 15 ish minutes before we need to head to the reunion kaden has not had a second nap today he's already been awake he woke up at like noon and it is currently what time is it 3 35 so definitely past he usually goes about two to two and a half maybe three hours if he's like eating or super playing and having a good time and then he's like super done so the fact that he's like at three and a half hours like he is so done he's like grouchy and rubbing his eyes like he's very clearly tired so we thought that we would come here crash let him sleep but he's not falling asleep because he's never been here before has he been here before i don't think he's ever been here before <laughs> no he has one time maybe twice anyway but they don't have like a baby crib or anything because their kiddos aren't babies. <laughs> so uh, we're just chilling on the floor. So <laughs> it's fine. Sean is currently in the back room with him. And it's like blackout curtains. So it's dark in there, which is really nice because that's what we have at home for him to sleep with. Um, yeah, just struggling. I'm like, even if he, get, if he doesn't necessarily fall asleep, but if he just like relaxes and chills, I feel like he can fall asleep in the car. So we'll see what happens. Anyway. It's really, really hot outside. <laughs> I was telling Sean this, though. I was like, I don't understand why. Because I was talking on the phone. I was talking on the phone to my dad uh, yesterday, the day before. And he was telling me about, like, the record-breaking heat or something. I don't actually think it's record-breaking. In, like, Arizona. And it's, like, 118 degrees there. Um, and I'm like, wow, that's, like, crazy. Like, that's why I don't live there. <laughs> you know, too hot. 
people that live in those places it's too hot um but I was talking to Sean and I was like I don't understand like I just think it's funny but I also don't understand like unless it's truly crazy and not natural for that type of weather in a specific area like Utah for example we generally get really bad winters like lots of snow lots of ice especially depending on like which city you live in and whatever it varies but like winter is winter summer is summer like it gets really hot like this right now for july being 100 degrees this is not uncommon this happens every single year and yet every single year we're always like it's so hot outside <laughs> we can't handle it so i don't know i'm just not meant to go outside ever so i don't <laughs> and i'm vitamin d deficient <laughs> i'm not anymore but uh, true fact i was during covid because sean and i lived like when covid hit like March 13th, 2020, you know, um, and the whole world went on lockdown. We were currently living in a itty bitty tiny basement apartment that had three windows. One was on our door that led out into the balcony that was covered. Like there, the people that lived above us, the house, it was their balcony. So we didn't get any sunlight there. Like we got sunlight, but not like direct sun. Does that make sense? The other one was in our bedroom, which the window was the stairwell going down to our front door <laughs> again the balcony and then the third one who's coming out is it just sean or is it the baby dang it yeah okay new plan hold on let me finish this video really fast and i have a new plan and then the third one was in the second bedroom which really was just like a walk-in closet um which was in a stairwell so we did not have direct sunlight we were now at home all day every day because the world shut down and we did not go outside or leave or anything. So we, both of us, were super vitamin D deficient. The end. That was my story. Okay, we're going to go help screaming Kaden not fall asleep. <sighs> Poor buddy. He'll be fine. Okay, bye. Well, we did it. <laughs> family reunion was a success, yeah? Mm -hmm. Sean got to see a lot of his extended family and cousins and people that I've heard about but I have never met before I had only met like one other time so it was pretty fun Kaden did awesome up until he was done <laughs> which was expected and then he wouldn't fall asleep in the car ride home which it's like pros and cons right because like you want him to sleep because he's so tired but you don't want him to sleep because then when we get home we were able to put him to bed right away and he fell asleep like that and he's been asleep now for three hours I think I don't know just it's just after midnight, so, um, yeah, it was super fun. That was the whole reason why we came here, and everything else just kind of fell into place. So, it is midnight, and we are going to get ready to go to bed, and then, oh, okay, and then we are uh, packing up tomorrow and coming home, so it's been super fun to be here the whole week. I really have loved being here the whole week and being here like having your brother and his family here too it's been awesome so thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to comment like follow subscribe and share and we'll see you tomorrow